In this video, I'll be covering the Compliance Engine. The Compliance Engine in WIMS is used to scan the database and look for entry limit exceedances, regulatory violations, and QC exceedances. So what we do is we set those up in the variable, and then the Compliance Engine will scan and tell us when any of these things happen. So in order to set it up, I go to Edit View Variables. And in this case, I'm going to go to the effluent, let's say, BOD, and review my limits. So what I have here is an entry limit of 100. So if my value is greater than 100, that's going to get logged to the compliance engine. This is just a warning limit. If I go look at my limits tab, which are my regulatory limits, I have a daily max limit of 45, and I have a monthly max limit of 30.2. So if my monthly average is greater than 30.2, I'm in violation. In order for the Compliance Engine to scan, we, we might have to go to the Options tab. And here in the Compliance Engine settings, we check off on a variable by variable basis which uh, exceedances or which violations or flags do we want to log. By default, it's a variable has all of these options checked. In this case, I don't have the log QC flags checked. and I don't have any QC limits, so there's no reason to scan for them. I could check it. It would make no difference. So I go through and I just normally set up my limits, my warning limits for data entry. I can also look at my QC limits, uh, let's say, for my aeration basin, mixed liquor. And right here, notice that all three are checked. And if I go to my quality control, here are the limits that are going to be applied to it. So now let's go run the Compliance Engine and see how we're doing. So I go to Data Manager and Events. And I'm going to go look at October. And right now I have no events because nobody scanned the database yet. So I go ahead and click Scan. What it will do is it goes through and looks at the database and it tells me, in this case, this uh, first record right here says, on October 30th, my TSS load violated the limit of 2,000. I had 2,500 pounds, and my limit is 2,000, so it logged that. So here are both TSS and BOD. I have some violations. My mixed liquor suspended solids on October 9th was below the lower control limit of 2,800. I had a value of 2,544 and it is below that so that gets logged and then any entry range violations again in this case on my influent TSS I have a uh, 306 was entered and normally we don't see numbers above 290 so we just want to warn on that so now I have all these things together I can come in and use this form at any time I can re-enter it change months see what's going on with any particular month and just review these. I can also design reports and I already have one set up called my event violation report. So I'm going to go here and just scan. It'll bring up that report so I'm going to run it for October and you're going to see a uh, report that will show us all of our um, violations within that month or all our exceedances. So this is a report that you can run. Now further, you can take this report and have it automatically generated every night if you have violations occurring and email it to, to people. So that would be using the, the GNR server and the scheduled tasks. So I'm going to go and schedule two tasks. Go to System Setup, Schedule Tasks. The first one is instead of making somebody go and have to scan, I'm going to set up uh, daily scan for events. I'm going to schedule it, let's say, once a day. Let's say, you know, most of the data comes in by uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon, so I'll schedule it by then. What do I want to do? I'm going to pull this down and I'm going to run the scan for events. And what I will do is I will always run for month to date, so for this month. Click OK and that event gets scheduled. 
I can then set up another scheduled task to run that report every night or using a report trigger I can run the report trigger and what that will do is only if events have occurred do I want to send that report that would be a trigger report and that will be covered in another video thank you very much